copy. We're go for uh, fan activation. And uh, David, for you, uh, if the footrests uh, are are being a little bit uh, challenging to secure to the seats, you're welcome to bring some Velcro straps with you. Thank you. Yeah, I retrieved one of those uh, white uh, webbing straps. I think uh, that would work fine. Sounds great to us. And for SA, uh, at step 13 decimal one, I did not restrain the hatch. It felt secure enough uh, as is. As is. This is this is Mission Control Houston. You're looking at a view from the inside of the Crew and Dragon spacecraft. This is SpaceX's human-rated vehicle that's currently attached to the forward end of the International Space Station. If you missed it, it uh, docked earlier this morning at 4:51 a.m. Central Time, and the hatch was finally opened between uh, Dragon and the station at 7:07 7:07 a.m. Central Time. At this time, the International Space Station is 255 statute miles over the North Pacific Ocean, about to enter into an orbital sunrise. At this time, the crew is a little bit ahead of schedule for their operations of entering into Dragon and conducting uh, a series of uh, maintenance activities, or I guess uh, a series of activities uh, that are a part of basically welcoming um, the Dragon vehicle to the International Space Station. Of this includes the installation of some ducting, uh, part of the ventilation system that helps cycle air from the station, or from Dragon to the station. They're also going to be installing some window covers and check several valves inside the station, the Dragon's cabin. Again, the crew is a little bit ahead of schedule. We currently have a welcome ceremony currently slated for 9.35 a.m. Central Time. We'll keep you updated with the latest as the crew continues to fly through their scheduled activities uh, to get the uh, Dragon outfitted, completely outfitted, for its stay, five, or for its um, almost a week stay on board the uh, International Space Station. You're going to look at uh, David St. Jacques, Canadian Space Agency astronaut of Expedition 58 inside, conducting some of these installation activities. Again, stay with us as we continue to provide live coverage, uh, some of these views from the inside of the station and the Dragon vehicle. Still tracking a welcome ceremony for 9.35 a.m. Central. We'll give you the latest as we learn more, and these uh, astronauts continue to fly through their scheduled activities.
This is Mission Control Houston. You're getting a live view from the inside of SpaceX's Crew Dragon, currently docked to the forward end of the International Space Station. If you missed it earlier uh, this morning, the Dragon docked to the forward end at 4.51 a.m. Central Time. Hatches were opened at 7.07 .07 a.m. Central Time. Uh, right now the crew has been uh, working through a series of procedures, basically outfitting the Dragon uh, for its stay aboard the International Space Station for the next uh, almost week. Um, David St. Jacques is conducting a series of basically setup activities for that integration with the International Space Station. NASA's Anne McLean, you can see just, uh, I guess, under the seats at this point with a camera in her hand. Uh, conducting a video survey of the inside of the vehicle. The crew has been ahead of schedule for um, basically all of these uh, docking operations. The docking time and the hatch opening time were both earlier than scheduled. Uh, the activities they're doing now are a bit earlier than scheduled. We're currently still tracking though a welcome ceremony time at 9.35 a.m. Central Time. We'll keep you updated with all the latest that may be subject to change if they keep rocking through uh, these procedures. But right now, again, currently tracking for approximately 9.35 uh, a.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston.
in station on two for Dragon Ingress. Go ahead, David. I give you 15 to small three, Dragon Ingress complete. Copy, David, and uh, you guys are go to close out the procedure through step 17. Copy, it works. This is Mission Control Houston. Again, you're looking at the inside of the Crew Dragon capsule. This is uh, the first demonstration mission of SpaceX's Crew Dragon. Successfully docked to the International Space Station earlier this morning. The crew members of Expedition 58 have been conducting a series of procedures to get Dragon outfitted for its stay with the International Space Station. At this time, uh, David St. Jacques uh, completed some of those outfitting activities. Uh, basically, part of the a series of procedures uh, for vestibule pressurization. NASA's Anne McLean uh, conducted a video survey of the inside of the Crew Dragon. David St. Jacques, as part of those uh, vestibule pressurization procedures, uh, installing some window covers. Windows on the left side of your screen from the inside of the Dragon capsule you can see now covered. We're providing views of the Earth below International Space Station, uh, currently 253 statute miles uh, over the Atlantic Ocean, uh, just east of some of the Caribbean islands. Crew has been ahead of schedule for most of the morning. Currently tracking the next next big event at 9:35 a.m. Central Time for the welcoming ceremony. The crew to provide a few remarks uh, for welcoming Dragon to the International Space Station now that it has been integrated through these uh, operations of vestibule pressurization. We'll keep you updated with some of the latest um, as the uh, crew continues to work through these procedures. In the meantime, this is Mission Control Houston.
station on two for ingress. Go. 17 decimal three, the uh, 2.0 CTB 5026, stem stowed uh, lab overhead one. We copy lab overhead one. Station Houston on two, no response required. Uh, Pluto's going to come on board SSC-17 in the cupola for some arc prop troubleshooting. Copy. We'll be hands off uh, cupola SSC. And Station Houston on two for the uh, first blue blocked PAO event coming up. Uh, just FYI, you can start that event up to five minutes early if you would like to. Uh, we copy the option of starting five minutes early. Good copy.
This is Mission Control Houston. For those of you just tuning in now, you are looking at the inside of the Crew Dragon vehicle of SpaceX currently docked to the International Space Station at the very forward end. It docked earlier this morning and the crew have been outfitting the Dragon uh, for its stay on the International Space Station. At this time, if you're just tuning in, please stick around. Uh, the crew are getting set up for a welcome ceremony that they have planned uh, sometime in the next just about 30 minutes. Looking at uh, 9.30 a.m. Central, perhaps 9.35 a.m. Central, the crew will give some remarks uh, to welcome SpaceX's Crew Dragon to the International Space Station. This is Mission Control Houston.
This is Measure Control Houston. If you are just tuning in, this is a live view from the inside of SpaceX's Crew Dragon, currently docked to the forward end of the International Space Station. Inside the Crew Dragon, you can see uh, the suited figure seated in the arrangement uh, on the far left of the screen. That is Ripley. She is an anthropomorphic test device scheduled to be part of this Demonstration 1 mission. The plush Earth that you see uh, serves as a zero-G zero indicator, which as you can see now uh, is very much in the microgravity environment, now docked to the International Space Station. You may have seen NASA's Anne McLean float into the uh, Dragon uh, not too long ago. She, uh, David St. Jacques, and uh, Expedition Commander Oleg Kononenko are preparing to uh, make a few remarks as part of a welcoming event uh, to officially welcome Dragon to the International Space Station. Stay tuned as we uh, uh, wait for that event to start in just about 20 minutes. Now going over a uh, short handover time, handing over communication from some of our TDRS that's tracking data and relay satellites. Uh, video communication will be going in and out during that time. But again, stay tuned. We're looking to start that welcoming uh, ceremony here in just about 20 minutes. A little bit about where Dragon is currently docked. Uh, this is a photo of uh, STS-135, the very last space shuttle mission, Space Shuttle Atlantis. Uh, that was the last time, I'm sorry, uh, Space Shuttle uh, 132, Atlantis. That was the last time
Patient Houston on two for no two video. You want to? Hey, Ann, uh, just letting you know, we've uh, seen intermittent video uh, from the Node 2 uh, cam camera. We are currently not getting any video from it. We know you guys were setting up for the event, and we didn't know if that was intentional or not. So it was intentional. We were just working a little bit of choreography, and we will have that all connected back up here in just a couple minutes. Sounds great. Thanks. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, you were getting live looks of the Dragon cargo vehicle docked to the forward end of station. The last time a vehicle was docked to the forward end was the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This photo was taken from 132, but uh, the Space Shuttle was docked to the forward end at two in, uh, during 135 uh, at 2011. That was the last time the hatch of the pressurized mating adapter was opened and was open once again uh, this morning at 6.38 a.m. Central Time, opening up the hatch of the PMA, uh, exposing the international docking adapter. You, that white structure you can see at the tippy top of uh, where the Crew Dragon is currently docked. This is at the very front, the forward end of the International Space Station. So Dragon is docked to the forward end, uh, and again, hasn't been that forward end hasn't been occupied since 2011. This is the eighth type of spacecraft to visit the station, and the fifth that could dock. The others being, uh, the, of course, the shuttle, uh, the Soyuz Progress, and the ATV. This is a uh, cargo vehicle. With the cargo, Dragon, Cygnus, and HTV, uh, they all uh, berth to the station. This is a different type of procedure. Uh, docking can be controlled autonomously, uh, happen faster, uh, but the port is a little bit smaller. With berthing, it takes a little bit longer of a time, but uses the same hatchway that connect different modules of the space station, and is especially good for cargo vehicles because it's a larger door and it can allow some of those bigger bags uh, to be put through the hatch.
Crew Dragon will stay docked for about five days, and the crew will work over those five days to unload about 400 pounds of cargo, also pack some science samples inside Dragon, since Dragon does have a return capability to the Earth. Uh, while Dragon is docked, um, uh, they'll take some photographic inspections of Dragon's windows so teams can see how they fare uh, through the different phases of flight. Ground controllers will conduct a robotic survey of Dragon's exterior using the station's robotic arm in the days to come. They've used the uh, same robotic survey to conduct uh, surveys of the international docking adapter, again at the very tip of this um, Dragon cargo vehicle, to make sure that it was ready to receive Dragon uh, earlier today. We're currently tracking a welcoming ceremony. The crew is getting set up and prepared uh, to make some remarks to officially welcome Dragon to the International Space Station, scheduled to start in uh, just about 10 minutes here. We'll stand by to start that live event soon. This is Mission Control Houston.